We're here with Dr. Steve Blackno-Brown again. Steve, tell us about professional health development amongst uh, students who visit Broken Hill and uh, the sorts of things that we can expect if we had the high speed broadband. Mm -hmm. um, well, you've, you've, you've already heard from, from, from the university's perspective and, uh, and there are a couple of points I'd make on that. Firstly, it's not just a case that we want to do this. It has been, it, the University Department of Rural Health and Broken Hill is, is one of the first and, and one of the most highly regarded in the country. And we've, the, the university has been putting students through rural placements for long enough now for them to have gone through their, to finish their, uh, their exams, where they did as well or better. They were all in the top half of the class uh, in, in, uh, in, in finishing marks. But also, um, in the postgraduate years, it's, it's, it's becoming very obvious that uh, students who have done significant amounts of their undergraduate training in, in rural areas are performing better in their postgraduate specialist training. Uh, I have that from a number of the, of the, of the Royal Colleges that are supervising uh, uh, specialist training. And that's for all of the reasons that, that you heard outlined. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a much more intense yeah. learning experience and they're often, usually, away from home and so they're doing more uh, in their spare time as well. Um, but uh, in health we're, we're learning all the time. Every person in the health system has to be a, a lifelong learner. And so we have, to, we have to have provision made for them to keep enriching their understanding, their, to developing their skills and, uh, and keep asking questions. Um, again, you could, you could, out here you could bring them all in along those uh, roads uh, hundreds of kilometres at a time for their educational sessions or you could set a lot of them up to be, um, to be distance, uh, distance education type uh, 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 activities and, and that's what we do um, for, the, for the obvious practical reasons. When, when we're talking about stuff outside of Broken Hill. Just a question on the face-to-face -face and the interactions that the students have with local professionals and mentors and even mentors in other cities. How, do, how does it work in terms of, um, is the broadband, for example, is the high-speed broadband essential for those kind of learning kids? Why can't they just talk face-to-face? -face? Well, certainly, uh, certainly as far as the, as far as the the experience of getting the benefits that David Perkins outlined of uh, more willing patients, patients who haven't had a whole stream of students, uh, of, of, of getting uh, senior specialists like myself uh, a very close working relationship with them, yes, that, that is the advantage they've got. But there is a core curriculum that they have to have both at the undergraduate level before they uh, uh, become qualified and in the two years postgraduate there is a core curriculum of stuff that they have to have learned, and not all of that can be done here. Mm. Um, adult learners learn best by interactive media, interactive methods. And so, yes, what they can learn here from the people here, uh, they, they, uh, they, they learn in an interactive face-to-face -face method. But uh, when, when there are some, some lectures being delivered from, as David said, anywhere in the world, uh, if they can get into them and they can and they can be not only watching them but given the opportunity to ask questions, that's the sort of thing. That's the sort of thing that the high speed broadband will bring to the student program here. Again, we're doing it, but with frustrations, with far too many frustrations with mm. the current technology and, that, and that's well, the current gives, connections. And that's what gives students that powerful advantage when they're learning in this environment. Yes, when they're learning in this environment uh, and, and they're getting the advantages of, 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 of being in, a, in a, a, um, uh, an isolated town with, with uh, helpful patients and close connections with their uh, teachers and peers, if they can then get the core curriculum delivered uh, that which is not able to be delivered here, delivered over uh, high-speed broadband, um, it's, 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 uh, it's a winning combination. Yeah. Fabulous. And um, the other the other part, sorry, the other the other part of, of, of professional development is going beyond the student years to the practicing doctors, the doctors who are sitting there in general practices or uh, at the RF, at the Royal Flying Doctor Base or even um, at one of the clinics, um, at a time when one of our hospital-based uh, teaching programs is going on, um, we. 
we know that that the attendance of general practitioners at our at our sessions, even the ones that are very obviously entitled uh, and very hard, hardly hardly uh, very, very heavily promoted to the general practice, obviously about general practice, uh, we know the attendance is poor because when you think about it, having to detach from the practice, having to get in the car, drive up to the hospital, find a car park, you know, that, all that sort of stuff involves a much bigger commitment of time than the uh, hour or so that, 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 that the, the, the program itself takes. So it's, it's easy to see why the, the specialists and the residents and the students uh, based in the hospital are there. If we, can, if we can have good connections built for professional development amongst, amongst all the doctors as well in the district, wherever they are, um, we will have not only the goal of the goal of, uh, of, of, of of helping them to remain lifelong learners, but also the cohesion, the cohesion that has developed between our our, our partners, our partners, uh, reinforced by that. That 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 is one of the things that binds doctors together best of all is joint learning and professional development activities. Mm -hmm. Bring it on. Yeah, my word. Must be broadband. Yep. Yeah.